YouTube. Welcome to my shop. I'm Mike and I do appreciate you stopping by. Uh, before we get to the pulling of the winner of this little hand plane, I wanted to take some final thoughts on buying, restoring, and selling. We've covered restoring basically all the way. But to make money on on uh, selling hand planes and restoring hand planes, first you got to be committed because, as I say, it's dirty, hard work, you know. But you can make money at it. You can make quite a bit of money at it. And the best way to, to, to know that is know the value of a hand plane. Know what a good buy is uh, uh, to buy it and know what a, a, a good buy uh, sell amount is and, and you've got to you've always got to keep those in balance what you buy it for and sh it's shipped out for and what you sell it for now um, the types will let you know how much they are a, a sweetheart or a type 16 or a type 10 or uh, type 9 or whatever now the first planes from from 1869 on up, most of the changes were little things to the frog and to the lateral. Number uh, 10 was the first time they had the adjustable frog, okay? And uh, uh, it went on from there. So prices do matter. So know the value and uh, know the types. And when you, uh, when you want to buy a plane, set a price and stick to it. Let's say uh, there's a type 11 on uh, a, a 5, and you think, uh, you say the value is, is 100 bucks. They've got it on 15 bucks with uh, uh, 15 dollars shipping, so that's 30. So to make 50 bucks a plane, if that's your business plan, or it might be more, it might be less. But uh, to make 50 bucks, you got to get out of it for $50. So, uh, uh, you know, you've got to put in the time that it takes you to clean it. That, that'll help you be a lot su more successful. And that only comes with experience on... on on fixing them up and doing them up so but when you when you uh, buy one set a price say I'm gonna I'm gonna I'll that's worth thirty dollars to me so when you uh, if it goes over 30 leave it alone don't don't say well okay I'll put 35 on it or I'll put 40 on it set your price and stick to it and, and uh, you'll be a lot better off. Something else will come along uh, in a day or two or next week. It always does. So uh, there's another thing about uh, eBay that you might want to be aware of. It seems like most people that buy, and I do it myself, they wait till the last minute of the sale. They, they, they put their bid in and then it's over and they either get it or don't. So at the last two or three minutes of an auction, that's where you're going to get a lot if there's people out there uh, wanting to buy. So when, when you're buying, for some reason people list things in the middle of the night. Now when I was looking to buy this plane, there was a 5 on it, type 11. And I checked it before I went to bed. It was about 10 or 11 and it was a, a type uh, type 11 and it was going off at 2 in the morning and there was no bids on it it was they wanted 17 bucks 15 dollars shipping there was no bids on it so what I did when I was in the business I'd set my alarm for 5 to 2 and uh, that's what I did that night now in that particular instance, when I got up at five to two, the plane had already uh, passed my, I, I was gonna go 40 on it. And uh, it was at already at 62, so I just went back to bed. But uh, sometimes there's not near as many people looking at a plane at two in, mo in the morning my time, or even five in the morning New York time. 
So uh, when you buy, sometimes buying in the middle of the night can help you. And when you sell, sell on you know, Sunday evening or uh, Saturday morning or something, uh, you know, you get the most people looking. And that's, uh, that's another thing to do when you're buying. Now, also when you're buying, you, the, the fours and fives are your best, or jack planes and smoothers are your best. So fours and fives, every shop wants one. You know, every shop might not want a, an eight or a seven or a two or something, but jack planes and smoothers, most every shop wants one. So they'll they'll probably sell a little uh, uh, better than most. Now, another thing to do, some of my best deals, I, I bought in multiples. I had this one deal, I couldn't believe it. I got, I, I, looked on the line before I went to bed and uh, about three hours prior somebody had list 20 hand planes 20 hand planes so I'm looking at it and there was like already like 15 people watching it and they only had two pictures but I looked through those pictures and it looked like there's an eight there and multiple fives and I, I couldn't believe it so it was they wanted three hundred dollars plus $30 shipping. That worked out to $16.50 a hand plane. I mean, if you're gonna be in this business, you gotta jump on those deals. I mean, you gotta jump on them with both feet, and that's exactly what I did. And out of the 20, there was only like three planes that, that weren't of value that I didn't get over $100 for. Uh, and that was a... Um, a craftsman and a worth and something else I, I can't even remember but uh, I, I still sold those for 15 bucks and then I kept a couple like this this old plane here was in, in it so I, I, I kept that um, but multiples even four or five planes you'll find that that you can get better deals on it so look out for those multiples um, and then when you go into selling if this one I got, I've got thirty bucks in plus uh, uh, forty of my own labor, ten dollars times four hours. So I needed seventy dollars, eighty dollars to make fifty. So when you have a lot of work in a plane, when you put the plane up, put it up for eighty. Don't don't put it up for fifty, thinking it's going to go up or ninety nine cents. A lot of people put planes on for ninety nine cents and want them to go up. So, um, you know, be, beware of, of, of that fact, you know? So, so I guess the bottom line is, if you've got $70 invested, uh, money and time and labor invested into a hand plane, you, you want your money for it. So you put it on for 80 bucks. Now, sometimes things don't sell. And if you put it on and a week later it doesn't sell for 80 bucks, what I do is I put it on again for 80 bucks. Now if it doesn't sell on the second week, what the way I did it, I had three options. Either list it again for 80 bucks, uh, drop it down to 70 bucks, or put it on the shelf for a month or so and then try later. Uh, you, you know, as I say, everything won't sell all the time. And uh, one, one uh, reason for that is auctions. Auctions are, if you've got two or more people wanting something, you're in. If you don't, you're out. And to give you an example, I, uh, I uh, put a... I had a little plan. I was more into bench planes, and this came with a lot. It's a 60 and a half. Now, this is mine, of course, but but uh, there was a 60 and a half that I put up for sale uh, for $39. And I thought it was a good buy. It's a low angle plane, it's uh, adjustable mouth and everything. And I thought, man, that's that's a good, good amount. I'll sell it. Didn't sell. I wanted to get rid of it. I dropped it down to 29 Still didn't sell. I go, whoa. But I wanted to get rid of it. 
I, I made my money off of, of the lot that I bought anyway, so I put it on for 19 And it still didn't sell. I was going, what the heck? Uh, should I drop it down? No, I'm not going to drop it down to 14 Do I want to set it? No, I want to get rid of it. I put it on for $19 again. And then all of a sudden, three people got interested in it. And at the end of the week, it sold for 42 bucks, $3 more than I had put it on a month earlier for. So don't get discouraged when you're, when you're selling. Uh, auctions are strange. You know, set your price and go for your price. And another th thing is if you have a, multiple planes up, never put two of the same on, like two fives or two fours or two threes or whatever. Never put two of them on because you're competing with yourself. There's only so many people out there at a particular time looking for a five, and you don't want both of your fives competing with each other. So I think that uh, about covers everything that I, I've done on eBay. Just be careful. Um, personally, I don't like to do business overseas. I, I've just been, you know, it takes a long time to get the transaction done. And sometimes you can, uh, believe me, have problems. And if you have problems, uh, it's just, it's just a pain. I don't do it, but I know that some people do. And another another thing that uh, uh, you might look into is yard sales or thrift shops in the, the local area when you're buying because uh, a friend of mine that's retired, he goes to yard sales every week. That's kind of his business. He has an eBay business. And he'll call me up and say, hey Mike, uh, is a 605 different from a Stanley? And I go, well, John, a 605 uh, sounds like a bedrock to me. And he says, yeah, it's got the bedrock thing on it. I is that good? And I said, yeah, it's real good. He says, well, I just picked up the 605 for uh, nine bucks. <laughs> nine bucks. Yesterday he calls me, hey, Mike, uh, uh, I've got a 45. Uh, what's the value? I said, well, it depends on the cutters and everything, but $100, $200. He says, well, I bought it. Doesn't have any, it just has one cutter, but I, I bought it for 15 bucks. And I looked on it this morning, it was already at 80 bucks. So if you're into yard sales, keep an eye open for hand planes because you can get a good deal on it. And uh, just hang in there, you can make money. I, 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 as I say, I paid for most of my shop selling hand planes. And uh, you just got to put yourself in some zen mood and get to it. But that'll do it. So let's, uh, let's give this little hand plane away. I've got the box uh, from the post office to, to wrap it in. And all I need is a name pulled out of the bag. Uh, there's 64 names in the hat. And I'm going to have my uh, grand girls uh, pull out a name for me. And uh, I'm going over there right now. So before we know it, this video will be done and you may be the winner. No. Why don't no. I? Is okay. Mike a subscriber? Hi guys, and today we're going to give away this. Uh, That's I right. You want to say that? But I don't, I don't really know what it is. Do you want to say, uh, well, do you want to say that we're giving this away today? I'm open to suggestions. You want to say that? Yes. Okay. We're, okay. This is action. You hold it, hold it tight. No, sit. Stand here. No, stand here. Okay, we ready? Hi, guys. No, no, no. <laughs> well, here, let me hold this. You got them in there. One, two, three. Hi, guys. And today we're going to give away. No, no, no. This thing. I'm going to start talking, then you talk, okay? Okay, redo this. No, 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 no I'll just stand it at the house. No, no, don't touch it. <laughs> okay. Ready? All right, YouTube, here we are for the big drawing of this little number three. What is this thing? Um, a wood sharpener. A wood, you said a wood sharpener? Yeah, it's a wood sharpener. Anyway, YouTube, these are my beautiful girls, and I'm their beautiful papa. 
<laughs> All right, I, I'm their papa. And uh, they're going to draw the names today, so it's totally fair to everybody. Now. I'm going to go and get them. Oh, there's, there's 64 names in the bag, and... Uh, I mean, it's better than the odds on the lottery, so you shake it up first. And you shake it up real good, and I'll shake it up. And what's going to happen now? We're going to draw a name. Okay, let's do Today it. Today we're going to draw a name. All right, now go real easy, both of you. Go real easy, both of you. You got one? One name. And I'm not... We're going to draw two names, YouTube, because I wanted to give this plane away to uh, uh, somebody that was already a subscriber before March 30th. I'm not sure this, this gentleman is, so I'm going to have to check it. And if he isn't, we're going to pull another name. Why don't you put a number one on that? Because uh, the pen, where's the pen? Pencil. Pencil. Did we lose it? Well, okay. You hold that, you're number one. Now put your hands in again. You too. You too. Put your hands in again. You got it? And I, th I'm, I think this, I'm sure this guy is a subscriber, but we'll wait till we make sure that he is a subscriber. And I will give the name when I check it on the internet. And, uh, I wish we could give out 64 planes to everybody in this bag, but unfortunately I can't. So uh, I thank you for being a subscriber, and to the winner, I will announce your name as soon as we snap our fingers. One, two, two three. three. And then I'll edit that out. And then, uh... Bye! Yeah, bye! All right, yeah. YouTube, <clears throat> we're back in the shop, and... Uh, this little plane is going in into a protective pouch, going into a United States postal box. And it's ready for shipment. Now, uh, my girls, or the little Easter bunnies, it's Easter weekend, uh, they did a great job pulling names. The first name they pulled was definitely a subscriber. And uh, I'm, uh, I, I'm glad he won. I wish everyone could have won, but uh, there was only one hand playing, so there's only one winner. And his name is Johnny. And I, I contacted him. I haven't heard back. As soon as I hear back, I will put his name on this postal box, and off it'll go, and I sure hope he likes it. So I guess that takes care of this little uh, sec, uh, segment, YouTube. I appreciate you stopping by. I hope if you're going to restore hand planes for your own uh, personal use or collection or you're trying to make a little money on, on eBay, I hope uh, my experience gave you a, 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 a few tips at least. And uh, as I say, uh, if you handle it right, you can... Uh, get some nice planes with, on good buys. So, now uh, my next video, I bought a few tools and uh, I can't wait to open it up, up and show you what the tools are. So, until then, YouTube, thanks again. Thanks a million. I appreciate it. Until next time, be well.